Howdy folks, TJ here. I have a huge unboxing today. I've had a lot of unboxings over these last number of years since I've really gotten into retro computers again. Gotten? That's not a good word. Gotten? What kind of English is that? But this one has me... I've owned this computer before. I stupidly sold it. For at the time, what felt like a good amount of money. I had other things going on, could use the money, and it always seemed like when the shit hit the fan and other things were needing to be done, TJ gave up something precious to make it happen. No more, I'm not going to do that anymore, unless the real crap hits the fan, as they say. But this one is special because I thought I would never own it again, simply because the price has gotten so high, and a lot of people just never put these up for sale. This one's special. Now, I'm not saying all these other computers I've purchased aren't special. Just kind of looking back, my first Timex Sinclair TS-2068, I did a video on that. That was really special because I had never owned physically a Sinclair computer before. And then the Speccy Next, which is still today such high on my totem pole of computers... But it's a modern one, to, I mean, to be truthful. It, it, it has a lot of history in terms of the computer's background, but the computer itself is modern. It's a newer one. So it's a little bit different than a 1980s, 1990s computer that I've now got my hands on. So I wanted to do a, an unboxing today. I can't do it out in my kitchen where I like to do stuff. Nice wooden table, <clears throat> plenty of room to work around, but I've got the puppy out there right now. I mean, when a puppy begin, you know, gets 40 pounds, it doesn't feel like a puppy anymore. This puppy is 40 pounds. She's a little over six and a half months. In fact, she just had her operation this last week to get her spayed. So she's out in the kitchen resting. I don't want to upset her or get her all amped up because she's one of those energetic dogs, kind of like me, a lot of energy. So what are we going to talk about today? The coolest Atari computer in all the lands. Some people may not agree with that, but in my opinion, this is the bee's knees, the Atari. I don't know if this is even in the screen. It's cutting out my big fat head, but the Atari Falcon. Now, I owned one before, but it wasn't a boxed one like this. Nor did I get to have the benefit. I live in California, Northern California. Not far from... <clears throat> you guys remember the letters B and C? B and C computers? You know, back in the... I remember in the 80s and 90s visiting San Jose Computer and other computer places in Silicon Valley. And I went to... I, I'm pretty sure it was B and C that I went to. I don't remember what exact address. They were in, what, uh, Santa Clara? I forget. It's been too long. But I visited the store. And, and obviously, if you know anything about Atari, there's a, a couple of big companies that purchased, not big companies, small companies that purchased pretty much all the remaining Atari goodies. Uh, Best Electronics and B&C. There may be others, but those are the two I'm most familiar with. I have had visited B&C before. I'm only about an hour plus away, hour and a half away from Bruce. Uh, so I've met him before. I purchased some stuff from him in the past. And over the last 10 years, I've been not hounding him, but saying, you know, if you ever get one, because he's very busy. You know, he, he he's, he's a little older than me. I don't know how old he is. Actually, I'm going to guess... Bruce is probably in his late 60s, early 70s. I don't know. I'm 55. I look 80. <clears throat> but he's obviously been around in the Atari lens for a long time. So he's probably in his, in, in his 70s, I'm guessing. Busy guy. You know, he's retired. But he's not retired because he's got all this Atari stuff. I had the privilege of actually, the first time I visited, I think I already briefly got to walk around his big warehouse. This time, I got to go in there and pillage it for a little while because I got to actually see this computer in operation because he wanted to retest it before I grabbed it. And uh, it was fun. You know, I wish I had a bigger pocketbook to go in there and buy some stuff because as it is, this computer, I really shouldn't have bought it because it was expensive. I When I sold my Falcon... Uh, put it this way, I spent another $1,000 above and beyond what I... Uh, sold my Falcon for. So I spent a lot of money on this, but I figured this is the last time I'm buying a Falcon, more than likely. Make it right, and it's a boxed version, too. So I got to enjoy... I was there for about an hour, and I got to walk around his warehouse and 
If you if you're an Atarian, it's like a mecca. It's like a museum. It's like wonder. I mean. If I lived there, I'd be going crazy because just wall to wall to wall boxes and some organizations, some not organized. I call it disorganized organization. That's kind of like this. See this back here? I know where everything is, but it's a little bit of a mess right now. Kind of just throwing stuff there. So it was a fun treat. I got to see this before I took it home. And we're going to kind of do an unboxing, even though I've got to technically... Uh, click and clank on it there uh, while well, he was doing most of the clanking but he wanted to show me that it was working and then he needed to put everything together so what do I need next oh the, the manual oh uh, GDOS uh, you know I got it was kind of a pick and pull as you uh, were picking it up because it wasn't quite 100% ready he was showing me that it was running and then other stuff needed to be uh, collected and while I was there he was trying to ship out a uh, buttload, if that's a proper word to use, of packages of people buying Atari stuff. We're out there, folks. Atarians are out there. It's nuts. And a lot of them are probably my age. In fact, as I was leaving the place, and if you're watching this video, you're probably not, but I had um, got to talk to another fellow Atarian who was there with his son, probably a late teens son. So he was probably my age, this gentleman. I said, you an Atarian? Yeah, I'm an Atarian. Hey, and there's another one somewhat local. I should have got his name and stuff, but um, yeah, hindsight, you know. But... There's a lot of Atarians out there. Atari was what I was born and raised on. As much as I love my Sinclairs, my Sam Coupes, I love a lot of retro. I'm not a hater of any retro, even though I like poking and jamming at the Commodore a little bit, because I have some friends, Eric, Mike, uh, Paul, a lot of friends that probably watch in some videos that are Amigans. And I'm an Amiga guy because I've got this Amiga, well, next generation one behind here. But when it comes to retro computers, Atari is what I was born and raised on. So I'm always going to have a special part in my heart for it. And I'm not going to say it's any better or any worse than anything else. I love all my retro computers. But if I had to put one up on a pedestal, this Atari Falcon is a huge, huge... And I'm not a collector. It's not going to sit up on a shelf. It's going to be used, and it's going to be right over here, and then maybe next week over here, and then over here. It's going to be moved around because I cut a lot of stuff i got to shift around. But I'm going to have a 2022 like no other. It's the year of Atari 2022. My Atari, at least. I'm going to so much get back into Atari. I've kind of neglected it, per se. These Since 2018, I've been really heavily into Sinclair. And then along the way, there's been some other European computers that have added to the pot, like the Oric, Atmos, and the Sam Coupe. All fun. But I, I need to rekindle that Atari, and I'm going to try to figure out a way to shift uh, every month, try to do videos on a little of everything, including my Ataris again. So uh, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. I wish I could have my table. Like I said, I've got a puppy out there. So I'm going to, the box is down here now. You got to see my box. And if you haven't seen these boxes before, it's a very generic box. It's brown in color, but you do see the uh, uh, Atari Falcon 030, 32 bit computer. Uh, fairly generic. The side of the box has not much going on. Does it have anything? Uh, oh, I can't see. The Atari and the Atari logo are uh, tra registered of Atari Corporation. Atari Falcon 030 is a trademark of Atari Corporation. Okay, so that is that side. And then, oh, this side's got an umbrella. Don't get wet. Don't don't drink and drive. Is that what that one is? What, it looks like it's a cup. Don't drink and drive. Oh, it's fragile. Fragile. Or don't drink and drive. <laughs> don't drink and compute. Oh, I have a friend, Mike Brantley, if you're watching this. He drank a little bit one day, taking some med medications and something. He, I don't think we drink it, but I think he did take some meds and he started installing Linux on his Amiga Next Generation and obliterated everything, I think. Was that you, Mike? <laughs> Woo. So, Atari Corporation, Sunnyvale, California. Oh, those were the days. You know, I applied to work at Sun, uh, Atari uh, 1980s, uh, I think. I just, there's something going on, and I think I applied. I never heard back, but uh, top of the box, just Atari. I don't know if this is coming in. And then the bottom of the box, just nothing. <laughs> so, that's the box. So, now, inside of this box is not your typical, I've got a baggie, and I'll take grab that in a second. Did I start the recording? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's ten minutes in, and that's just me going, ng -ng -ng -ng. I'm Portuguese and Italian, so I can sit here and talk to myself for hours. 
So hopefully you like talking because that's my M.O. I like yapping. So inside the box, he did give me, he said he didn't have any of these left. Read me first. So a big read me first in lots of different languages on the back. Connection del Falcon 030. Or is it Falcon? Falcon sounds much better. Angeles des Falcon 030 on build scrime. Uh, Atari Falcon 030 Anschluten. Uh, hopefully I'm not telling anybody something wrong. Connecting the Atari. Branchel de la Atari. That's French. That's got to be French. Co uh, co Collegimento de la Atari Falcon 030. <laughs> so it's a, it's a cheat sheet. A, a big cheat sheet that tells you how to make a connection to your Atari Falcon to whatever TV you've got. Which this video, I don't know, this may be strictly the unboxing. And then I'll do a first boot or I don't know. I'll figure it out. Inside this box, though, is... Let me see if... I don't want everything to slide out because this is an expensive computer. So let me make sure I've got it. So inside the box, this is what it looks like. <laughs> That's an Atari Falcon Falcon keyboard, and it's got the two buns on the outside. Now let me grab this. Oh! Oh! So, so you may be seeing... Oh, this is kind of hard to get out. Oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Does anybody ever say TJ's enthusiastic? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, I think the camera just shifted around. It's probably recording something else. Okay. Oh, I don't want anything to drop. So, Falcon inside of a plastic baggie. Bun, let's remove the buns. You can't see this part. You're just seeing my pretty, mu my pretty mug right now. Or the ceiling because the camera did move. Uh, and... Let me put this over here. Oh. So now we left the dongle for Super VGA, or just VGA, on there. Uh, like I said, we were uh, I was able to watch this while there. So let me grab the baggie off. Here is the Falcon in all of its glory. Hopefully the camera is showing it well enough. There's a serial number on the back, and there's some writing. Now, it would be wonderful to know the story, because B and C, you know, basically from what he gathered, you know, they just went through the building, and uh, a lot of these computers were from employees' desks, and you name it. So it's it's hard to tell where this one landed. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll show... This video is more of an unboxing. You've seen the ports on the back and all that stuff, but if you haven't... Here is the butt of the Falcon. And yes, I've got the VGA connector already there. Because I'm going to be connecting this to a VGA monitor. Let me, um, let me go ahead and shift around a little bit. And we'll actually, I've got, you know, maybe I'll just go ahead and roll right into it. Is this thing still, yeah, it's still pointed at my desk. So uh, let's shift this around a little bit. So this video is going to be a little all over the place. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's that in the television? Holy smokes. Did anybody ever say I'm loud? <laughs> okay. You can tell I'm giddy like a kid. Oh, hold on a second. You know, really, what should be going on here? You know, because this is a 55-year-old's Christmas. That's right. I have a Santa hat. So... And this is the monitor I'm going to be connecting it to, a Sony LCD. Hopefully it works. I've already got a VGA cable here on the ready. I've got a power cord on the ready. And to tell you the truth, I forgot to ask him and he forgot to put in there a power cord. <laughs> but I've got so many, it's all right, no big deal. I, I spent plenty of money to where I should have got a power cord. The power cord in here is the next computer from a next cube, actually, so that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this stuff in, and we're going to screw in this little VGA cable, turn on the monitor. Now I've got my, uh, we still need to do the unboxing of the other stuff. Oh crap. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> oh dang, what's going on here? <clears throat> And the, and the lighting's going to be all over the place. So we need to resort back to... Okay, this is where we will turn it on in a second. We're going to call back... I've got other unboxing to do. Okay, let's move the camera again. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is going to be a longer video. 15 minutes in. So what else did I get? 
a bag, Atari service, and this has got all, rather than put everything back in the Falcon bag, hey, I said Falcon, uh, I just threw it all, he's going, hey, you need a bag? Yeah, I need a bag. Oh, I'll give you an Atari bag. So sweet. So let's go ahead and take everything out of the bag because there's stuff that came with the Falcon back in the day. I think I got most of it. Uh, I don't know if there's something missing, but it seems to be pretty comprehensive on what I received. So yes, cool bag. And I actually have one of these already because I purchased stuff from him before. So what's in the box? Oh, my Falcon book is upstairs. I did get the owner's manual. You probably don't care to see that, but it's upstairs. I started reading it last night. Atari Works. That's the manual for that. Uh, where am I going to put all this stuff? Okay, how about over here? Cool. All right, Speedo GDOS. And another Speedo GDOS manual. Glare on the screen, or it may be a little rough, but hey. Um, calendars and appointments. This is the extra programs. Calendars and appointments. All in little baggies, probably as packed when Atari had this stuff. What next? Uh, audio fun machine, Falcon D2 recorder, manager breakout landmine. So I've got some other goodies. He had to find this one at the end. He goes, yeah, I want, I want to get you, make sure you get that. So I got that. Then I, this Falcon is a four megabyte, no hard drive in it. But I did make sure that I got the hard drive bracket in case I want to put one in. Because I probably will. Uh, or put in a... Um, uh, CF card or whatever, you know, some, something to put inside. And it came with a little instruction Falcon kit on how to mount it and all that. So that's that. Uh, I also, along with the VGA cable, because that's how I'm going to normally connect, I also purchased the ST video adapter, which allows the Falcon to connect. Uh, it's got the round port on the back for the older Atari, like SC1224. Uh, I've got a lot of them. Uh, I've got lots of old Atari computers. So I thought it would be smart to have one of these two handy. And that's it. That's it on that. So that was all in the box. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Now let me put this back in the bag. <laughs> so that's the unboxing part. So yeah, I um, this is like Merry Christmas to TJ. Although my wife probably thinks, what the hell is he spending that much money on a dang old computer for? You know, I find much more pleasure in these old computers than I could have spent that money on a brand new high-end computer, but I didn't. Uh, let me put this over here for right now. Let's change the camera once again. Oh, I got to connect in that mouse too. Oh, that's always a pain in the butt. So yeah, the uh, they, they sure didn't make it easy for connecting the mice. So I do have one of my mice. It didn't come with a mouse. Uh, he's low on the mice, so yeah. Uh, I should have probably not plug this in first. So this is a kind of a live uh, thing going on here, folks. So hopefully you don't mind me just jabbering as I'm connecting things up. But let's go ahead and connect. I'm going to unplug this power cord, too. I just need to... you, you got to kind of find your way home to the mouse. Oh, I want to make sure I plug it in the right way. Oh, wow. Did you hear the dog barking in the back? That's my puppy. Probably going, what are you... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, 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 geez. This is really difficult. Oh, you feel that? It worked. Okay, I got the mouse connected. Now my dog is all amped up because TJ's too loud. And I'm going to probably have to go in there and soothe her for a second. Oh, I just let her bark. Okay. This is turned on. All right. Is it turned on? <laughs> yeah, it's turned on. Okay. Am I still recording? <laughs> 20 minutes. All right, folks. We're going to turn it on. Uh, oh, i got to plug in the power cord on this other side. And then probably shift the lighting around a little bit. So I need to plug in... Do I have the... No, I didn't have it plugged in, so yeah. Atari. Yeah, that's right. Atari Falcon. All right. Let's move over here. Okay. Power button. PC. PC. 
Oh, I forgot to put a floppy in. But it, it, it should it, it should eventually boot. I think I can hit the space bar. Let's just a memory test. Okay, good. I use this Sony LCD for a lot of older computers. It really brings in a solid picture. Now I've got CRTs too, and I've got the Atari SC1224 and some others, but we'll we'll see what works out in the end. Memory test. So once that goes away, uh, I'm gonna hit the space bar. Or maybe <laughs> maybe I gotta wait for the space bar. I'm gonna wait for the, the busy bee to come up. I forget. Oh no. Come on, you can boot. You can do it. Oh, there's the busy bee. There's busy bee. Maybe now it's when I hit the space. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Let me move the mouse around. Oh, there's a big. Oh, this is a huge screen. Uh, let, let, let's see. Uh, set video. Uh, 16 color. Let's just just zap it to 80 column. Uh, okay. Let's see how long it takes to digest that. <coughs> so regular four megabyte. No hard drive. And it's thinking. There we go. Look at that. Desk info. Okay. And this is 4.04 .04 TOS. We looked at that. I don't know where you can find that from here. I think you have to be in something else. I forget where. Uh, I don't know if it's, if it's in any of these. I don't think it is. Let's just go and check some things out. It's been a while since I've played around with these. Desktop info we've already done. Don't have any floppy in there. Show as text. Set color and style, install devices, preferences. You know, pretty pretty lean jam operating system here. Toss. So cool. It booted. That's all I needed to show, right? This video is mostly about the unboxing and my excitement for having a Falcon again, but a boxed version that no, I'm not going to sell anymore. Uh, I, this is going to be buried with me, folks. Uh, hopefully I live a long time to enjoy this Falcon, and it lives a long time. Anyway, come back for more videos, more than just this first boot and unboxing. I plan on exploring this Falcon to a big degree. I've got lots of stuff. I've got a side quest drive in the other room, one of those uh, easy drives that's 105 uh, megabyte. I've got a older Satan type of drive, which I started using on my Mega STE. Uh, I, 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 don't, I guess I could probably finagle with things and make it work on this. But I've got a lot of old hard drives, a lot of old stuff. I've got the uh, Spectre GCR, all sorts of things that I want to just dive back into. I've got so many Atari magazines, it's crazy. I can't wait to start pillaging through all that stuff. So anyway, that's it. Atari Falcon 030. It's still got its little plastic on here, it almost looks like. I'm going to leave it on there if that's what that is. It almost looks like the, the clear plastic stuff that's over that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace. TJ owns a Falcon.